Hi everyone. In this new series of videos, we will create a portfolio project for data analyst role using Python and Python libraries. I'm really super excited for this new series. I do know that uh, I have started series on Tableau and Python, but it is not yet completed. But based on the comments, I thought I will be creating one or two portfolio project and then I will go back to Tableau and Python series for the uh, beginners. Okay, now let's get started. The data set we are using for this project is hotel booking demand data set, which is available in Kaggle. And it is for ML project to predict the cancellation like hotel booking cancellation. But we will be doing data analysis part. Okay, even before building any model on top of any data set, you have to perform data analysis. So this is one of the important stage. Okay, um, this is the location. This is the link which contains this hotel booking demand data set. You can download from here. I think if you download from here, it will download as zip file. But if you want it as directly CSV file, you can just come down and then you can download from this location. Okay, this will be downloaded as .csv file. I will provide the link in the description and also I will uh, upload it in a Google Drive and I'll provide that link as well so that if you don't have a Kaggle account, you can, down, uh, you can use from the Google Drive. Okay, now let's import the libraries. We will be using pandas, numpy, matplotlib, seaborn and plotly. As of now, I have not imported plotly. When, it, when we need it, we will import at that time. Okay, I'm just creating alias, like import pandas as pd. So, for example, if you see here matplotlib.pyplot, instead of writing this whole line, whole uh, word, I can just say plt instead of this uh, whole word. So, what we are doing in this line is, we are just calling pd, that is our pandas, read the read underscore csv this is the location where i have stored my data set you check here d under uh, d da projects hotel booking so i'm just giving that location and file name okay the moment uh, we we run this line whatever the data available in hotel bookings um, dot csv it will be stored to df data frame you can give whatever name you want. DF is for data frame. You can actually visualize data frame has table like this. This is column 1, column 2, column 3, something like this till column N. And all this as rows. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row till row till the last row. Okay. Now let's execute this one. We'll first import all the libraries. It is running. Now we'll run this one. Okay. We can see all the columns present in this uh, .csv file. You can just scroll a bit. You can see it contains uh, 32 columns. What this et function do is it will only print a uh, top five rows. That's it. So that's why it is having 5 and then 32 columns. All the columns are printed here. But if you scroll towards right, I think I'll just zoom out a bit. Okay. I hope it is visible clearly. But if you see here, after adults, it is showing dot dot dot, three dots. That means uh, it is not printing all the columns. So first, we will see what total number of rows and columns present in this data set okay this is the uh, phase where we will be spending most of our time to understand each and every column present in this uh, data set this is very very important uh, stage so because the moment we get data set what i was doing is i used to write code first instead of understanding the data set with my experience i can say that it is better to spend uh, starting few minutes or hours to understand the data set 
because in future if you get stuck you know that what are the columns present in your data set you can actually debug very easily so yeah uh, just run this uh, cell it says 119,390 is the number of rows present in this data frame and 32 columns but as we can as we saw in our previous uh, um, cell we are not able to see all the columns so what i'll be doing is i will just zoom in a bit i'm just uh, setting an option to display maximum columns 32 those are the number of columns which which are present in our data frame that is the reason why i'm giving 32 let's execute this now again i'm just calling the add function to display only the top five uh, records okay we can see here it is printing all the columns now we will understand these columns one by one this data set contains the information about two different hotels one is the resort hotel and the other one is city hotel uh, these two hotels are located in the portugal european country okay df dot columns what it does is it prints all the columns present in this data frame let's execute okay these are the columns which this data frame contains now i'll execute this and i'll explain you what it does it is just printing all the unique values for each columns hotel as i mentioned it is having two different um one second yeah two different values one is resort hotel resort hotel and one is resort hotel and the other one is city hotel is cancelled as the name indicates it will be zero or one one is for cancelled zero for not cancelled lead time this is the column which contains number of days that elapsed between the entering the date of the booking into the uh, system and arrival date it is like the number of uh, dates difference between the time you arrive and the time you have booked the uh, hotel uh, okay this one as the name suggests it is the here of the uh, arrival as the name suggests it is having the arrival date here month this is week number day of the month okay stays in the um, weekend night week night these two are the columns adults children it is like number of adults who have checked in and then whether they had children's babies all this now meal okay okay uh, let's see the uh, count the value counts like total number of resort uh, hotel guests and then the city hotel guests okay uh, we can see that city hotel is having more number of uh, records and then the resort hotel is having 40000 can we say that this data set is balanced data set the answer is no right this is not balanced data set balanced data set means say suppose um, city hotel is all having uh, say suppose um, city hotel is having 10 records resort hotel is having 10 records then we can say that this data set is balanced but look at the difference it is 79000 almost double double the uh, resort hotel data set so this is act it is not a balanced data set it is actually an imbalanced data set okay this is useful to know when we are creating the models there are uh, methods where you can actually balance the data set so that is not required for us now okay we can just go ahead with whatever the data set we have now i'll just clear this i'll just take this 
okay we actually stopped at meal i'm sorry i'm just going back and forth i would have ran that query when we spoke about hotel but i completely forgot now uh, actually we were at meal like what are the different types of like this is the categorical feature okay now let's run this okay these are the five different categories the first one is i will just take this pen uh, this meal column gives us the information about the meal type book the first one is uh, actually undefined or sc so we are having it as a two separate columns in future we will merge these two columns okay we will just rename undefined as sc but for now let's um, understand what is this exactly mean undefined or sc means no meal package no meal package okay db means a uh, bed and breakfast okay hb is half board that means breakfast and one other meal usually dinner this fb means full board that means breakfast lunch and dinner this is what the information is um, given in this column okay now let's say what are this um, we were at meal right and then country the different this this is the origin country of the customer okay there are uh, people visiting from 177 different countries in this world okay the next one is market segment okay one more thing this country information is given according to the iso standard not like complete information it, it will be given like for france it will be fra that is the code uh, the iso code that is what being used in this uh, country column okay market segment what are the different values let's see this is on uh, the ta means um, travel agent to means uh, tour operator okay uh, these are the different market segments which are uh, available in this data set online offline group whether they are from direct or it is for corporate complementary aviation or this is undefined and the next one is distribution channel so let's execute that this is again tatvo means travel agent or tour operator same direct or corporate gds or undefined is repeated guest either it will be s yes or no previous cancellation whether they had done the previous cancellation i mean uh, this one previous booking not cancelled that means that uh, the customer's previous booking is not cancelled the i think the column name itself is saying what exactly the values present in that column and then reserved room type there are 10 different uh, room types room types um the room type code right uh, this both uh, reserved room type and then assigned room type for the anonymity reason it will be given as abc something like that it is not uh, telling what exactly the room type is okay and then assigned uh, room type this is what uh, we uh, usually book but the assigned will be sometimes different because of the overbooking some operational reasons or might be even the customer might uh, request for the change some other reason okay booking changes okay this contains the integer um, value which says the number of changes has been made from the time we booked uh, book for the room till the time we check in or cancel deposit type i think we i think i have this column here yes because this is important so uh, this is no deposit non refund and refundable there are three different um, categories in this deposit type majority of them go with the uh, no deposits 
okay um customer type yes this one i'll check and then booking deposit type agent whether we have booked the hotel through agent or through company uh now the number of days we were in the waiting list customer type this one we will see okay this is related to contract group means um the booking is associated to a group transient means when booking is not part of a group or contract and is not associated to other transient booking transient party means um especially who are looking for a short and uh, the other urgent hotel stays like last minute bookings okay when the booking is transient but it is not associated to at least other transient booking okay uh, this one is total number of special requests it's an integer different like the number of uh, special requests which are made okay let's go back okay uh, customer type we did adr adr means average daily rate this is the uh, column which is used to measure the average revenue that a hotel receives for each occupied guest room per day by measuring adr for your uh, property you are able to see the average rate that comes from all occupied rooms okay this is the important uh, column whether there was a request for the um, for car parking or not total number of special requests we just saw reservation status whether uh, it is cancelled checked out or all this all that information in this reservation status reservation status date when was this last updated when was this column was last updated that date will be present in this column okay this took uh, this step really took lot of time i know but this is very important okay now let's uh, try to create one or two uh, visuals what i'm doing is the same um, information we got it from this uh, cell i'm just trying to create it in the form of visual okay let's run this i'm just creating a count plot data is this df which we have loaded the data into and then the in the x column i'm giving hotel so let's run this okay as we can see the resort hotel is having less number of records compared to the city hotel okay in this one again count plot again i'm using the uh, count plot i'm creating count plot using the uh, seaborn library sns sns is the alias which we have given for seaborn data is again a df x x axis is is cancelled this coloring coloring is done based on this um, column is repeated guest s means orange no means zero okay now this is the last um, cell we will run it and see what exactly this plot is saying okay this is just a distribution uh, resort hotel and city hotel obviously the number of uh, guests are also more in city hotel the number of cancellations is also more compared to the resort hotel as you can as we can see uh, it's actually having more than half of cancellation compared to the resort hotel okay uh, that's all for this video we have not drawn any conclusions yet from next video we will be doing the exploratory data analysis for the same data set in this video we have just tried to understand each and every column present in this data set from the next uh, video we will try to draw some observation and conclusion out of this data set thank you for watching this video thank you